Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a spirit message for sign of Virgo, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. We also have money spells, love spells, protection spells, and so on, which will also be in the description down below. Virgo, on the bottom of the deck, for the overall energy, for your current situation here, we have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is fire energy, so you could have some fire placements, or maybe you have a fire sign around you. Either way, Virgo, let's see, you have the Ten of Cups, we have the Six of Swords, we have the Four of Swords Averse, King of Swords Averse, that is Air Energy, we have the Four of Pentacles Averse, High Priestess Averse, Pisces energy. Nine of Wands averse. Nine of Pentacles. Virgo, you are being you are being led by your intuition. However, it feels like you are ignoring your intuition and going the opposite direction. Your intuition is your your spirit guides are trying to lead you towards your Ten of Cups here, but it feels like you're moving away from that. You're, you're going the opposite direction. Honestly, what it feels like. Like you're ignoring your intuition. The reason why I'm saying that High Priest is reverse. Looking at all these other cards as well. I feel like this is something that you're meant to do in your life. Like it leads to you being successful, it leads to you being independent, it leads to you being extremely happy. But yet you're you're going the wrong way. So, on the bottom of the deck, what's coming towards you, we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is Taurus energy, the Hierophant being there, however. That is you connecting with God, that is you connecting with spirits and spirituality more, okay? So it feels like you're going to find your way back to the, to the right path here, okay? I see you being heavily connected here. We have the world, the strength card, this is Leo energy, we have the five of cups, we have the queen of wands once again, with the eight of cups, okay, Leo, or no, Virgo, a lot of strength here, strength card, with the five of cups, the world, it feels like there's some things you're getting control of in your life here. Strength card, the world. It can be things of the past. I see you speaking to people about this. I also see you, like, I see you getting closure for things that have happened to you. And I see you really having that strength, that courage to make your life how you want it to be. messages for you we have number 37 second chances bring success so this you know second chances bring success Virgo okay card pretty clear we'll get into that more in a minute we have number 36 so threes are gonna be very important for you reassurance of the golden light this is you know Virgo this is sending you signs that everything's gonna be okay everything's gonna work out for you Virgo number 45 man holding a heart so you might have someone with masculine energy reach out to you on emotional matters. This can be as a relationship, advice for a relationship, or just a very emotional conversation. Number 43, fours and threes, inexperience. Maybe there's something that you were inexperienced before in the past that didn't really work out a whole lot, but now you have a second chance with it, and it could be successful. This can be like as a business, a project, person. We have confidence. That explains the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is kind of a confident energy. So you might be feeling more confident in the in the month of July. We have happy news. Your prayer is answered in a creative way. Your prayer is going to be answered here, Virgo. Everything's going to work out. Enjoy your creative side. Visualize, paint, record.
number 34 with Spark. Virgo. This is talking about creatively. Like can be as an artist, a musician, or, or something along those lines, but there's something that you need to do creatively. It's going to lead to a lot of success in your life. Yeah, you are feeling that creative spark. Maybe maybe that is where your Ten of Cups lies, is when you actually do this. Number three with Wizard of Awareness. This is talking about being hyper aware of your situation, your surroundings, you know, which direction you go. You have number 28, the Seven Sisters Circle. Sisterhood enriches my life. You're talking about a sister, a mother, or a daughter that you are very connected to, very close to. Now, if you have none of those, then this, well, you obviously have a mother, but anyways, and this just does not apply to you. Two angels that are with you, we have number 35, the twin that you're in. It's supposed to be the angel of truth. Number 19 with fuel, cleansing. So these two angels are with you. Last card for you, we have number 39, the threshold. On the threshold you stand, before you lies a way of being but that is beyond fear. It is a sacred passing through a karmic veil into a new life of empowerment, peace, spiritual service to humanity, and joy in your own soul. And this you, you know, you're, you're going through a new phase here, Virgo. You're freeing yourself from the old, going on into the new, cleansing. That's a big message for you. Continue doing that. So, Virgo, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't really subscribe. Bye, guys.